Craig Mitchell Dyer is a professional photographer living in the Portland area. My favorite pictures are one that show a lot of emotion or have a lot of dramatic lighting. You can see that in his work. He's very much in demand, shooting for the Portland Timbers and Thorns soccer teams, along with the Associated Press and several other clients. Today, he's thinking about the eclipse. If you're looking through the camera into the sun, that's going to make that mo much more intense into your eyes. I asked him for some tips to help us protect our eyes and our equipment. That's what you want to be careful of when you're shooting the eclipse, is that, you know, if you look directly up at the sun, it's going to burn your eyeballs. Uh, so you not only want to protect your eyes uh, with solar glasses, but you also want to protect your camera and your camera lens. Take a quick look at YouTube and you'll see several videos explaining how to do that step by step. This one by the Celestron company was one of the best we found. It shows how you can buy special filters that screw over the front of your camera lens. You can, of course, buy one through them, but I also found a wide selection on Amazon. The company also warns you to look through the camera's flip-out screen if possible so you don't damage your eyes. It's sort of like a magnifying glass if you were using it to create a fire or heat something up. That's what happens to the optics inside your lens. I also talked with the camera experts at Portland's Pro Photo Supply. They've had lots and lots of customers coming in to buy those solar lenses. They say an unprotected camera will end up with a damaged sensor and much more. I think more importantly is you can melt um, the glue and things that are holding everything together inside the lens. So that I would be really concerned about. 